Hello, Grade 7. It's time for another Flip the Classroom lesson. Today's lesson is Analyzing Energy Transfer Systems. Playing sports can generate a lot of heat. You might think that all that heat is caused by the energy you are burning while you are playing. Stop and think about it for a second. Not just yourself and the other players who are getting hot. The playing surface itself gets hot. The equipment that you are touching also gets hot. In this picture, Brett Hall is taking a slap shot. Where do you think heat is being generated? Question. Heat is actually kinetic energy being transferred. When you hit a volleyball, Kinetic energy is transferred from your hand to the ball. The part of the ball which is touched heats up because it is a transfer point. When you bounce a basketball, kinetic energy is transferred from the ball to the ground. The ground heats up because of the energy transfer. The whole process of transferring kinetic energy is called an energy transfer system. All energy transfer systems have five common features. The first one is an energy source. Some part of the system acts as the energy source, supplying energy to the rest of the system. The second feature is the direction of energy. Energy is transferred in one direction, and it travels in the direction towards an area where there is less concentration of energy. Energy never disappears or vanishes. And the energy travels and undergoes different transformations. This means that kinetic energy transforms into thermal energy, another form of kinetic energy as it travels. Take a look at this diagram. Can you identify or describe the energy source, the direction of energy, and the energy transformation? We'll discuss it in the class. But this will give you a bit of a head start. The fourth feature is a control system. The control system keeps the energy transfer system running efficiently so that it does not receive or hold on too much thermal energy. Your body is a great control system. Shivering and sweating are two functions which your body performs to ensure that it is using thermal energy when it is cold to release thermal energy when you are too hot. The final feature is waste heat. Almost all energy transfer systems transfer a little extra thermal energy in the surroundings. This extra energy, unfortunately, does not serve any useful purpose. And in fact, it reduces the amount of energy that the system could use for other things. Reducing waste heat is an important step in energy conservation. The heat being released has no use and is going into the atmosphere. This is a picture of this building. How do you think waste heat could be better used? Let's review our understanding of energy transfer systems just one final example. Jose Bautista, Joe Gast, he likes to call here in Toronto, is waiting to hit a ball that has just been pitched. Identify and describe the energy source, the direction, the transformation, the control system, and the waste heat. We'll discuss this in the next class.